Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what is the use of timeout attribute in TestNG? Let me answer. Sometimes while running or executing this TestNG test methods, there may be some situations where this test methods may take longer time than expected or they may get stuck. Whatever the reason that may be, if you want to limit the time in which this particular test methods need to complete the execution. Otherwise, you want to fail the test, okay? Either the test methods have to finish the execution in the specified time, within that specified time, or if it is taking longer, I don't want to run the test. Rather, I would like to fail the test. In such kind of situation, you can use this attribute known as timeout attribute using which if the tests are taking longer time than expected or the tests are getting struck and are not completing in the specified time, which is specified with this timeout attribute time, in that cases, the test and test methods are going to fail. Okay. Let me practically demonstrate this attribute for you. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID where we have the sample test method. And uh, here, I'll write down. Okay. What is that? Timeout. I would like to specify the time. That is, let's say, 3000, 3000 means three, mil three seconds. Okay, 3000 milliseconds means three seconds. So if this particular test method doesn't complete the execution within this uh, specified time, that is uh, three seconds, this particular test method is going to be marked as fail. Okay, we are limiting the time in which this test method should complete the execution. If it is taking more than three seconds, the test method is going to get failed. Okay, so if I run this, this will complete very fast. So within three seconds, it will be done. So it will not be failing. Okay, in this case, you see it got passed. It got passed. Okay, within three seconds, that test execution got completed. What if I intentionally add this statement that that is a thread dot uh, sleep, and if I give some five seconds here, but here time limit is three seconds, but here thread dot sleep is five seconds means definitely this execution will not come complete in three seconds. Okay, I'm just mimicking that. So if this particular test method is going to take more than three seconds to finish the execution, in that case, I prefer failing the test. Okay. So that's where I have added this timeout is equal to attribute is equal to some three seconds. And uh, if this test execution will not complete in three seconds, it's going to fail. So this is going to fail because here three dot sleep will wait for five seconds and execution will definitely take more than uh, three seconds. So it will fail. Intentionally, we are failing this. Okay. In real time, if you come across some situations where apart from the specified time, if the test methods are taking more time than specified in this timeout attribute, then the test methods are going to get failed like this. Okay. You see, this one got failed because of the timeout exception. Okay. So hope you understood uh, how to use this, uh, you know, how to use this timeout uh, attribute in test and test methods and what is the purpose of using it. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.